In this tutorial we are going to be looking at the Get Models tool. And the Get Models tool belongs to the Warehouse toolbar. And if your Warehouse toolbar is not turned on, you can go to View, Toolbars, and you can turn the Warehouse toolbar on. So if you click on the Get Models tool, this will then launch the 3D Warehouse. Then all you need to do is search for the, the type of item you would like to download. So let's say it's an office chair. OK, so we've found one over here. Let's look at the HF813. TG. So over here we've got a download button which we could download directly into our model but first I actually want to just check out the model before I decide to download it. So we have a little bit of a description about the chair um, some of the tags that are associated with the chair and these are used to just help you find it easier. Uh, if we look over to the right here we can see the uh, the author of the chair and he's got 46 other models available for download so that's a quick link to go and see those. If we were to look over here we can see that it's been downloaded uh, 162 times um, and the file size of the download. If we just look above there we've got um, the 3D view mode and this allows us to just spin it around and just get a, a brief idea of how it looks in 3D. And we can also view some charts on the model's activity, etc. So once you're ready to download it, you just click on the download button. And it gives you a few options. There's an option to download directly into the model. Or if you were to say no, it would allow you then to save it to your hard drive for use later. But in this instance, we'll just say yes. And it'll start to download and give it plenty of time if you've got a slow internet connection. Okay, so once it's downloaded, it gets put onto your cursor with the move tool, and you can just move it into into place, and then click once you're ready to place it. Then I recommend either pushing your spacebar or clicking on the select tool so you don't accidentally move it some more. And you can see here we have the 3D model downloaded directly into our 3D space, and it's ready to be used.